Hello everybody and welcome, I am Andy Pirate, and today I am positively geeking out about the third day of the Serious Sam Christmas Arena. So, this time we've got Nucleon Behemoth, Asar Marques Ares, Pulsar Leech, Havoc Ravana, and Shredder Loki. Let's get to that gameplay. So I start out here with the Ares because this is not my first game and I saw it work well for other people in some of the other games that I played. Uh, I see that he's not quite in cover so I try to hit him but then this guy's going to try to hit me so I'm going to try to get to cover. Uh, this is a weird one for me. It has like three different mid-rangers and all of the bots feel really slow to me really slow uh, and it just it doesn't give me the kind of uh, opportunity to play that I'm used to. I guess there's also no splash weapons, maybe that has a factor. You can see that Ares is getting beat on me, I'm trying to get to cover. I, I do manage to. I don't know why he doesn't push it. I think he just sneaks up on you later. See this Loki out of cover, so I get him out of stealth. I don't know what this guy is doing, I try to skill shot him a little bit. Really is a weird, weird situation. For some reason that guy is either accidentally targets the Loki or something. Did I catch this other Loki out of stealth? Managed to get him somehow. Right, that guy gets in, and I just like I can't get my legs to move. Get stuck. I guess yeah, he uses his, uh, took that opportunity to use his lockdown and got me. I still feel like I got stuck before that. I respawn in the, uh, this, this bot is really powerful, but you can, because you don't have phase shift or extra ability uses or any sort of chips or healing or last stand, you can really get caught outside of 200 meters. It can really happen. Uh, and we noticed that this guy here is disconnected or AFK or something. So I'm just go to clean him out. And now there's this Loki here. So I go after him. I. There's two, against the Loki, there are two bots here uh, that have quantum radar. There's the Leech and the, and the uh, Ravana. And honestly, with these weapons, the Ravana doesn't really even need the quantum radar. I, like, in my other matches, I, I, I had a Loki on a couple of occasions and I just got completely destroyed even after their quantum radar ran out. It's just, it's, yeah. The Loki, honestly, the Loki would be my favorite bot in this hangar. This guy, see this guy gets outside of 200 meters, uh, and we've got someone coming up behind me as well. So, a big part of this, every bot has like an advantage. It can play off against the other bots. So you, in a one-on-one, -on -one, it's it, it really the least aggressive person wins. The person who plays the most carefully wins. So which means you really need to avoid being stuck in the situation that you're in right now where the fact that someone's behind you forces you to not be the most cautious because you're the guy in the middle. And then you just get destroyed. And there's just nothing, there's not very much you can do. If you, in, the, in this particular arena, if you're like, and, and the guy in the middle here, this other guy is now the guy in the middle and there's, there's nothing he can do. Uh, This arena is arena in general, and the guy in the middle is not just a physical position. It represents a, phys a physical position is a big part of it. Uh, but it, it, it's it's more of a theoretical thing. Yeah, my controls kind of messed up there. So I use my ability here, and this this behemoth. Like, the behemoth I find pretty much useless. Anyone can just corner shoot you. 
and use their abilities to destroy you and so I'm able to pick up that guy's that kill there. Kill the behemoth relatively easily with the leech. Uh, okay, I think I understand why I why, why this this turns out the way it does a little bit better. So I, I'm corner shooting him because why not? He has more firepower. And then I'm gonna try to finish reloading that one weapon, and I'm gonna try to come up and skill shot him. Oh, I guess he does have the advanced healing as well, doesn't he? That's another part of it. I get a good chunk of him. I haven't even used my ability yet. Yeah, it's the, it's the repair. That's what, that's how he, the, this, yeah. So he comes out again and, actually no, he doesn't have repair. So I hit him again. Maybe he did get repair going again there. Him again. I try to. Ah, uh, I also I messed up reloading my weapons. Honestly, I don't know how he survived that second volley. Uh, but he must have had repair off of cooldown or something. I don't know. So now here I come in with the my Loki. Uh, the team is looking the other way. I've got a, a pretty good. I hold my fire a little bit to make sure I have ammo when he. Uh, when he. He's actually dying. Now, honestly, here, I should have just run the other way. Because I saw that that was a Ravana. Why did I keep going towards it? I should have just ran the other direction. Because there's, as far as I can tell, there's nothing that the Loki can do against the Ravana. Just, just no chance. And now, here, I'm, I, I, I seriously i am just considering not. Not responding to Behemoth. Because it is... It, I mean, maybe someone, maybe some of you out there who really understand the behemoth can make this work. I don't like the behemoth to begin with. Uh, and in a, in a one, like in a free for all style mode, it, it, there's just so much your opponents can do against you. It's going to deny you any advantage you might have. So. So I'm like, well, I, if I spawn it, it's basically a free kill from somebody else. <laughs> so I, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting impatient here. I know that I'm, I have a potential. This is the first game today where I actually had sound. I messed up the sound on the, the original games that I played. Uh, and... Can I rotate? I should have rotated my view if I can here. Oh yeah, see, I, I, I notice what's going on and rotate my view. Uh, and then I'm just kind of admiring the, the effect. I really should turn to see what he's looking at with the leech. And I lose my first place. And here I'm like, okay, I see other people spawning the behemoth. Maybe I have a chance against another behemoth. So now I'm considering, I'm considering spawning. Actually, what happens, what this makes me spawn is I see this behemoth get a kill. And I'm like, well, if he can do it, maybe I can do it too. <laughs> so I notice that I'm outside of this leech's range. So I'm just like, and I... I kind of just panic there. I'm like, what am I doing? This guy has no defense. Going into that mode doesn't give him anything defensive. Try to get to cover from this guy now that he's in range. Like once again, I get caught in the middle, right? There's the leech on the one side and the behemoth on the other. I don't know why the leech even left. So I'm just corner shooting this guy because the leech kind of left, so I'm going to take, I'm going to do what I was saying earlier, I'm going to be the less aggressive guy, and I'm going to play my advantage. Here I'm actually trying to get just enough spread on my, uh, on my weapons to be able to hit, hit him when he's trying to corner shoot, and then he ducks to cover. And I'm like, oh look, this leech is coming in range, so I get his last stand, but then uh, he comes out of cover, which I actually think I can take advantage of, corner shoot him a little bit while he's out of cover. But, once again, I'm the guy in the middle. Guy in the middle, there's nothing I can do. And, 
I have actually a figure I have a better chance against the Leech if he hasn't used his ability, but the uh, guy in the Leech was third, and I was in second, so I gave my I gave my kill to the guy in fourth, and let him get into third. <laughs> so it turns out the gap in kills, it wouldn't have mattered. So I could, I, I maybe, absolute best thing to do, would have been to go after the Leech, but I uh, didn't have all the information, so what I did was fine. And then the time runs out here. Here's the we'll show the score screen and we'll get back to a more detailed overview of the hangar. So there we are. I was I, I had three kills on the guy behind me, but I really didn't do all that much damage. But neither did the guy who beat me. It's just how these things can really go when it becomes ends up being based on uh, luck and such. Uh, it's, there we are. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, so you got phase shift on the behemoth, and that helps a little bit, but it, I don't think it's enough. There's just you have two different bots that can outrange you. Uh, I don't know how the Loki does. Possible that the Loki doesn't have a lot. The, the Loki doesn't do well against the behemoth. You can just kind of destroy it as soon as it comes out of stealth. Uh, but even then, even then the Loki can just find a nice spot to corner shoot the behemoth. So yeah, I had a game where I lost the Loki. You just, you just corner shoot it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this behemoth. Maybe some of you guys do. Let me know in the comments below. Oh my gosh. Anyways, and the uh, then there's the Ares. This one actually works fairly well. It doesn't have a big burst, but it has a lot of options between its range and its ability and lockdown ammo. There's some things that you can do. Uh, if you can keep the Ravana outside of your bubble and it, it stays in the cover and doesn't just corner shoot you, or if you have range on it, you can actually beat the Ravana with the Ares. Uh, Leech, another good one. Three last stands, kind of useless. Um, Cause the time shouldn't add up, but it ends up. I've seen those. The last thing lasts a reasonable amount of time. Uh, Quantum radar. It gives it another option against Loki. Ravana is really powerful, but you can in this in this particular arena, you can get caught outside of uh, outside of 200 meters. And the Ravana's ability is just so short now that that you might not be able to get away. It feels so slow. But once you can get within 200 meters, if someone and and you're you're not in the weird like corner shoot thing, like corner shooting standoff, the Ravana can can just wreck everything. Only potential issue is the Leech, uh, whose ability can last longer than your two abilities. Um, and then there's the Loki. I think the Loki stands a decent chance against the Ares. Um. But the quantum radar on the Ravana and and the uh, and the Leech uh, give them quite a bit. Now, I guess against the Leech, what you can do with the Loki is basically what happened to me in that battle is uh, you take advantage of the fact that you have a heal, you have healing, and two damage modules, and the Leech. I take advantage of the Leech doesn't have any extra damage or any extra armor, and that you have a decent trade value kind of proposition against it, but you really need to take advantage of that healing module to really get through that. But that's what that kind of what that guy did against me. Worked for him. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to go get ready for my stream and uh, yeah, you guys have a good day. Uh, have good luck in your arena battles and I am Anti-Pirate signing off.